Hi, everybody. Welcome to our program. This is English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. We're going to continue talking about the Roman Empire in today's program, the enduring legacy of the Roman Empire. Remember, last time we began to talk about this big subject of the Roman Empire. We talked about the different emperors that they had、mm -hmm. and various events in the Roman Empire's history until its fall. Uh, in what、uh, 380 there or、uh, 395, basically when、uh, Theodosius the first took over, and it was divided for good. But、uh, you know the legacy still lives on in architecture and culture and in languages. So we're going to talk about those things in today's program. We sure are. We're going to be talking more about、uh, Julius Caesar and a couple of phrases,、uh, words that we. No, today, which actually originated back in that time, like czar. We're going to find out what a czar is, and also their judicial system, which means their courts or their legal system, how that ran. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to read through today's lesson, and then we'll be back to explain. The Roman Empire had such an impact on Western civilization. That much of its influence is still observable today. For instance, the Roman language Latin lent many words and phrases to English. The Latin word anima, for example, means soul, breath, or life, and is related to the English word animal. Meanwhile, our calendar is derived from the one adopted by Julius Caesar in 45 B.C. In fact, the names of the Roman months are still in use today. Not only is Roman architecture still visible in its original form today, but its elements are seen in modern construction through the neoclassical style. The U.S. Supreme Court building in Washington D.C., U.S., is just one example of this. It features two iconic elements of Roman design: freestanding columns and a stepped entrance. Romans also had complex sewer systems, and their aqueducts, some of which can still be seen in a number of countries, distributed water throughout the empire. After the empire fell, leaders throughout European history built their own empires based on the Roman ideal of an orderly state with a strong centralized government. This is evidenced by the German title Kaiser and the Russian title Tsar. Both of which mean emperor and come from Caesar. The Romans also influenced modern democracy. For example, the U.S.'s executive branch of government, which is elected by the public, comes from the Roman consul. The Senate or legislative branch of government was used by the Romans as well. There are also similarities between the U.S. and Rome's judicial systems, such as the Supreme Court. From language to architecture to government, it's clear that Roman influence on our daily lives is strong, and will be for some time to come. Let's take a look at the first sentence, guys. The Roman Empire had such an impact on Western civilization that much of its influence is still observable today. Uh, let's look first at our vocabulary word there. Impact. Impact just means some sort of influence. Maybe had some sort of effect on something else. Impact、uh, is also a word we use if an object is thrown or comes maybe comes from the sky and hits the earth, and the impact was really big. It left a mark.、Uh, but here it just had a really big influence. On Western civilization, and then we've got a sentence pattern here. The Roman Empire had such, and then we have a noun or whatever that is. That and this is the result. So I could say, for example, yesterday I had such a big appetite that I ended up eating a whole steak by myself. Ooh, it's、wow. actually true. It's delicious. Oh,、uh, I'm sure it was. I could also say that、uh, my uncle Roger is such a wonderful guy that everybody loves him. He's so wonderful.、Nice. Everyone loves him. So, in any case, the Roman Empire had such an impact 
that much of its influence is still observable today. So yes, it's had big influence, a big influence on Western civilization. Its influence was so big that you can still see the influence today. It's still observable. If、mm-hmm. something's observable, that means you can see it. Okay. So for example, if you remember last year, there was a total solar eclipse、oh, yeah. in the United States. It was observable in the United States, but it was not observable here in Taiwan. You couldn't see it. You have to, had to be on the right side of the Earth, right?、Mm. Darn it! So, for instance, the Roman language, which is Latin,、uh, lent or we borrowed, you could say, we、mm. borrowed many words and phrases to English.、Uh, lots of words and phrases came from Latin, etc. Guys, is Latin. Et There you go. Cetera, yeah. Even the word Latin itself is from Latin. <laughs> But in any case, the Latin word. Anima, for example,、uh-huh. means soul, breath, or life. Okay, so that's from Latin, and it's related to the English word animal or animation. If you see movies, because they have life in them, they're moving. So we use the word animal to talk about beasts, dogs, cats, cows, goats, stuff like that, because they have breath. They they take breaths. They're living, and they have souls. And as it says here, it's related to the word animal. So that's where the word comes from. It's、uh, from Latin. Right. So, meanwhile, our calendars are derived from the one adopted by Julius Caesar in 45 BC. So, when he was、uh, the dictator in the Roman Republic, he actually decided what calendar they were going to use. Or follow, and if you say something was derived from something else, that's where it came from. So that's its source.、Um, we were just talking about how some words are derived from Latin. Well, the calendar, our current calendar, was derived from something they used long, long ago,、uh, back in 45 BC, which is a long time ago. In fact, the names of the Roman months. Are still in use today. I've always wondered, and I should probably just look it up. If July,、uh, which is Chiyue, if July came from Julius's name, I think it did. Actually, August, of course, comes from Augustus. Yeah.、Uh, the other ones, no. September that means ten. Is that right? And October mean? Oh wait, October means ten. Ten.、Yeah. September means nine,、mm. and etc. They used to、uh, have a different numbering system there. The、uh, year used to begin at March first, but then they. Changed it later on, but in any case, uh, our uh, names of the months, at least in our calendar, come from Roman names. At least some of them do.、Uh-huh. Not,、uh, not、uh, well. Not all of them. Not all of them. But in fact, here though, that was adopted by Julius Caesar in 45 BC. That's quite some time ago. But moving on now to the next paragraph. Here it says, not only is Roman architecture still visible in its original form today, but its elements are seen in modern construction through the neoclassical style. So yes, indeed, not only here's this pattern here, not only, but、yeah. so not only is it still visible, but its elements are used in modern construction. So yes, if you're talking about the ways in which buildings are constructed. And designed well, we use the word architecture again. That's the science. It's not the actual building itself. It's the science architecture. So Roman architecture is still visible in its original form. You can still see. Uh, maybe some of the original buildings are still standing. Who knows? But、uh, at least some of the styles are still used.、Uh, it's still visible in its original form. But also elements are seen in modern construction.、Mm-hmm. So elements or ideas that they used in Roman architecture are still used in modern construction、uh, through this neoclassical style, which means kind of the new. Kind of classical style. Yeah, it's it's modern, but it's based on a classical style. Neo is new, so yeah. So the U.S. Supreme Court building in Washington D.C. in the U.S. is just one example of this. If you take a look at it, it looks very Roman. Yeah, it's kind of cool.、Mm. So yeah, we don't have a lot of history in the United States, but、uh, some of our buildings,、uh, at least the look of them, the architecture is based on historical architecture, and it kind of cool. It looks really cool. So it features. This is why it looks.、Uh, it's neoclassical. It features or has two iconic elements of Roman design. 
、Uh, what are those? Well, freestanding columns. Those columns are those big pillars, and they're round. And a stepped entrance. A step just means. Uh, the entrance is formed by a series of steps that you have to climb. So you'll see a lot of that if you go to Rome. If you go to Rome, you're going to see、um, part of the old Colosseum. That's ancient architecture, and it's got those big columns, and、uh, it looks very much like our Supreme Court. Supreme Court, of course, we copied them, but that's okay. If something's iconic, it represents、uh, a certain period of time. Sometimes. Or maybe even an industry.、Uh, Madonna is always used as an example. She was an iconic pop star in the '80s, in particular.、Uh, she's not so、uh, popular now, but she represents that that time in music in the '80s. So iconic, just relating to something that、um, it really depicts something you're talking about. It very is, very much is a reminder of Roman architecture. If you see those buildings, there might be some. Uh, 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 elements of Roman architecture in some of the buildings here in Taiwan.、Oh, really? Look around; they're probably still around someplace in some government buildings or something like that. But again, these are the two elements that you commonly seen: freestanding columns and an entrance with a bunch of steps, kind、mm-hmm. of like uh, my uh, hometown's post office. Oh, really? It has a couple of columns out there in front and a stepped entrance. I know that because when I was a kid, I tripped and fell on those.、Oh. Steps and、Ow. got a bloody nose as a result. A painful childhood memory because of Roman architecture. If they didn't have those steps there, I wouldn't have broken my nose. Oh,、Ow. I didn't break my nose. I just got a bloody nose. But in any case,、uh, that brings us to the midway point in today's lesson. Let's take a break right now and listen to our Chinese teacher. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. 好，我们谈到了罗马帝国的历史。当然，这有好多重要的时间点。罗马帝国发生了什么事？今天呢，我们要谈的是它的 legacy， 也就是它流传下来的文化传承。它有什么的文化遗产呢？有三大方面：语言的部分。建筑的部分，还有政治体制的部分。好，我们就分开来谈。罗马帝国在西方的文明里，其实有非常深远的影响，以至于今天我们还可以看到它留下来的文化遗产。好，看到了 such。That， 我们知道，哎，如果你要表示一个因果是如此的，以至于有时候你看到 so， 有时候你看到 such， 看到 such 就是因为你后面要接一个名词，而看到 so 就是后面你要接一个形容词或者是副词。好，这边是 such blah 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 that。好，下面就说语言的部分，当然。我们知道罗马帝国当时的语言是 Latin， 也就是拉丁文。当然，今天在英文里面，我们知道很多的字根都是从拉丁文借过来的。所以呢，这在语言方面来说，英文也是一个深受罗马帝国文化的影响喽。好，那我们看看下面举出的一个例子，就像英文里面又用的 animal， 哎，它有拉丁字根。又比如说，它后面提到，我们看到今天在用月历，哎，你每一个月、每一个月这些月份的名称，说起来都是从拉丁文过来的，在语言里是保留了拉丁文，也就是说有罗马文明的影响。那接下来呢？第二部分就是谈建筑。好，这边他用到了 not only is Roman architecture still visible， blah blah blah。好，看到 not only 就会想到，哎，后面一定会有一个 but， 或者是 but also， 因为你是要说不光是哎 A 还有 B。不过要注意的就是，当你用 not only。放在句首，然后你接一句话的话，那这时候就会用到倒装句，因为 not only 还是一个否定的字眼，所以说后面就很明显看到了倒装句型，有 as， 哎 ，be 动词搬到这里来，后面才是接主词 Roman architecture， 所以结构上要特别的注意。好，谈到。罗马建筑这边一样的，我们可以举出很多的例子。这里举的例子就是像美国华盛顿特区里面的
最高法院。好 ，Supreme Court。哎，这个最高法院它的建筑啊，就带有罗马建筑的风格。哎，怎么说呢？他说到罗马设计风格，它的建筑风格有两个 iconic elements 代表要素。第一 ，freestanding columns， 也就是它有独立式的这种列柱、圆柱；还有第二个 ，a stepped entrance， 也就是它是有阶梯式的入口。这可能大家如果看电影或注意到，哎，这也就是罗马建筑的特色了。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, everybody. Let's continue with our lesson. We're talking about some of the enduring aspects of the Roman Empire that we still see today.、Uh, we're talking mostly about. Architecture here,、uh, the freestanding columns and the stepped entrance of some of the government buildings in the United States and in Europe and places like that, and also Romans had a complex sewer system or complex sewer systems, and their aqueducts or aqueducts you could say it that way as well. Some of which can still be seen in a number of countries, distributed water throughout the empire. So these are some features. Of Roman architecture,、uh-huh. uh, or at least、uh, Roman construction projects, I should say, complex sewer systems. Now, the sewer is underneath a city. It carries waste water away from your homes, and they take it someplace else to be treated to a cesspool or something like that. A sewer system. You don't want to fall into a sewer system because it's really smelly down there. <laughs> Ugh, don't want to do that. But、no. in any case,、uh, they did this、uh, at the Time there, I don't know how they got rid of their pee and their poop.、Uh, you had to get rid of that stuff somehow. Well, the Romans developed this sewer system, and they also had these aqueducts, which is like a system of、uh, canals. canals. Usually, they're elevated on top of columns or something、uh-huh. for distributing water to different parts of the country, so people could have water brought to their homes. They wouldn't have to walk. Many many miles with buckets on their shoulders、uh, to come back with water to use for cooking or bathing or whatever. These aqueducts made things very convenient. It was really smart, actually.、Um, but they're the ones who invented this. It was their idea. If you distribute something, guys, you give it away.、Uh, maybe you're sharing it with somebody. So uh, they um, actually were able to supply water to people around the country this way. Through those aqueducts, aqueducts. I say aqueducts. Aqueducts、mm. are canals. They kind of look like canals, open canals. Now, after the empire fell, remember we talked about when、uh, something had a downfall, it lost its power. So, when the empire fell, leaders throughout European history built their own pa- empires based on the Roman ideal. This was kind of seen as the best、uh, example of what、uh, an empire or a country. Uh, was like so they had this ideal of an orderly state. If something's orderly, it's organized very well. There's not a lot of chaos.、Uh, things function the way they should. It's neatly arranged.、Uh, things behave. They work well.、Um, they wanted to organize、uh, their countries along this idea or with this idea of having a strong centralized government. So the government would be、um, centralized or、uh, be Actually, in control of everything, and then、uh, people would follow what the government、um, issued, or they would follow those regulations or rules. That that was the way the Romans had set their government up. Right, so it was an orderly state. Everything was in order. The roads were based on standards and things like that.、Uh, sort of like、uh, the Chinese Empire, it was quite orderly, and of course they had the centralized government and not all these local little city councils and stuff like、yeah. that. This is evidenced by the German title Kaiser and the Russian title Czar, both of which mean emperor and come from Caesar. So this is. 
evidenced here. Evidence is being used as a verb here, which is not as common as its、uh, noun usage. Evidence as a noun just means things that prove something.、Uh, do you have any evidence for this? You're accusing the boss of stealing money.、Uh, do you have any evidence for this?、Uh, do you have any proof? But here, evidence is being used as a verb, which means basically proves something. You could say it's proved or proven、uh, by the German title. Kaiser,、uh, Kaiser Wilhelm, for example, was a famous German. Kaiser. I didn't know the word Kaiser came from Caesar. I didn't know that either. This is interesting. You learn something new every day. Yeah. And also the title Czar, which is in Russia. There,、uh, Czar Nicholas the First was that、uh, who he was, I, if I remember correctly. But、uh, both of these titles came from Caesar. Yeah, very interesting. So、uh, they've had a very large impact, as you can tell, around the world. The Romans also influenced modern democracy.、Um, how people are able to vote for their elected representatives that came from the Romans. For example, here's the example right here: the U.S.'s executive branch of government. Are, are, we have three branches of government, and the executive branch is the branch that the president of the United States belongs to. So he's the executive; he runs everything, he manages the government. He is elected by the public. We all vote, and it comes from the idea that the Romans have had way back then of the consul. So, consul、um, is a word we even use today when we talk about our ambassadors. They actually live and work in a consul. So,、um, back then, it was an official appointed by a state to live in a foreign country and protect the state citizens. That's how we use it today. But in ancient Rome. Each of the two annually elected chief magistrates, they would be the presidents today, who jointly ruled the republic. That comes、um, from Roman history. So we just have one president. We we don't have two, but that's where we got this idea from. Yep, that's the executive branch,、uh, the direct election of the president. Donald Trump was directly elected by the people, as was Tsai Ing-wen here in Taiwan, directly elected by the public. Then you've got the Senate. Or the legislative branch of government, and that was used by the Romans as well. So that's the second branch of government, at least in the U.S. The legislative branch, which I think includes the House of Representatives as well. The Senate is、uh, two senators from each state, whereas the House of Representatives have somebody from different、uh, districts in、uh, different parts of the country, which reflects population. And that was used by the Romans as well. And of course, here in Taiwan, you've got the legislative. Yuan, which is comprised of representatives from different parts of Taiwan here, and there are also similarities between the U.S. and Rome's judicial systems. That's the third branch of government in the U.S. The judicial branch, the courts, you know, the judges and stuff like、mm -hmm. that. And the similarity there is the Supreme Court. Uh, which is with all those different justices. What are there nine of them now? Nine, nine justices、yeah. that、uh, decide things that have to do with the Constitution. From language to architecture to government, so this is a range of areas that have been influenced by Roman history. So we're talking about lots of different ways they've influenced our lives today. It's clear. It's obvious to see that Roman influence on our daily lives is strong and will be for some time to come. So it will continue having an effect or an influence on us as time goes by. It's、uh, quite interesting to study, though. So if you like history,、um, I totally recommend getting a book about the Roman Empire. You'll learn a lot. We also have a lot of mil movies, films about that time in, in our history, which are very fun to watch. Yes,、yeah, so、Russell Crowe and Gladiator. That's、yeah. one example. Although that movie is like almost ten years it's old. It's a great、now. movie, though. But in any case,、uh, that brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for listening. And now it's time to hear from our Chinese teacher. 好，我们继续来看罗马建筑部分，它在今天是不是哎还看得到它的影响力呢？哎，之前我们说到了像美国的最高法院，它的建筑特色
有的。哎，再来还有什么呢？哎，有一个就是下水道的系统，还有什么呢 ？Aqueduct 这个。就翻成了高架渠，哎，这样子的，哎，在当时就是让罗马帝国它的水呢，可以分配到这帝国的每一个地方。好，那这样子的管线设计，其实今天在某一些国家还看得到。All right， 我们知道 a number of。注意到这个偏语 ，a number of 后面是加可数名词哦，所以像 countries 你就可以讲 a number of。另外还有一个重点就是我们说到了 aqueducts 这个高架渠，哎，那他提到说有一些现在我们还看得到，逗点后面他接了一个 some of which。好，注意到这也是一种关系代名词的一种变化句型。当你在冠代前面加了一些不定代名词，好 ，some 就是其中一个不定代名词 ，some of which 指的就是前面谈到的 aqueducts， 这当中有一些。不过我用 some of which。最重要的一点就是在于，哎，你这两句话接在一起，哎的，你要连接词。如果你是用 and， 那你就会讲成 and some of them。可是如果没有 and， 你后面就会变成了这样子的冠代句构。好，我们再往下看最后一方面，也就是政治体制。谈 government， 我们知道罗马它有一个。中央集权政府的国家，而这个政治体制，从今天我们看到的这些呃头衔里面，他举出了德国还有俄罗斯，哎，这两个国家的语言里面，他这个称呼里是来自于 Caesar 的，可见的罗马。它影响力还是在就政治体制来说，另外一个就是像在嗯美国的政府里面，它呃我们今天谈民主制度，嗯，当时古罗马有所谓的 council 执政官这个字，还有像我们说美国的议会参议院是 senate， 这是他们的立法部门。那这两个字其实跟古罗马时代他们用的制度有关系的，所以可见得从语言到政治。罗马的文化影响到处都有。好，我们今天讲解就到这边结束，下次见。Okay, everybody, that brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Hey, I actually learned some things about the、Me、Roman、too. Empire, and we hope that you learned some things too. And we also hope you improved your English too. From the、uh, staff here at English Digest, it's been a pleasure having you. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. See you later.